What's going on, Gemini? It's Robin here. Welcome to Aries Fire Tarot, guys. I'm super excited to do your November 2021 month ahead tarot card reading. I have the good tarot in my hands, which I'm going to start shuffling here for you guys. I'm going to do an intuitive read for the month of November. So I really hope you guys have fun while you're here. Um, maybe there's a super important message for you. You know, if you were guided to the reading in some way, uh, there's probably something here for you. So... You know, take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, if you feel like you need a private reading, my email address is ariesfiretarot at gmail.com. I'm like, what is it? <laughs> so this is for Gemini in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you feel like your sun sign's not resonating, go ahead and check out your moon sign. I'm just going to get a little bit more comfortable here, and then I'm going to start pulling cards for you guys. And just wishing you guys all the best, love and light. And do remember to like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Um, I'm here for you guys, so let's have a card to kick off your reading. Yikes, okay. All right, so it looks like there could be some sort of return of drama okay so we do have the five of water here i'm gonna pause and write that down so you can see what's going on in the card here you've got the five of water you've got a very scarlet o'hara um sea creature happening here and then you can see this little seahorse coming in and sort of tapping you on the back and saying uh remember that thing that you thought that you healed hmm. i'm kind of back again okay but not in um What's that movie? Uh, was it? Is it Jack Nicholson? I can't remember the name of it with that kid, Red Rum. It's not like that. It's not going to be that horrifying where he axe chops down the door. It's just going to be a... Uh, you need to do a little bit more healing. Um, you could be overwhelmed by like sadness and tears. There's... Uh, oh, that's uh, actually interesting. What I'm getting here from my spirit guides is that you forgot someone in your healing process okay oh that's fascinating okay so there's a little bit of a reminder <clears throat> that somebody needs your help too or maybe you overlook them um uh this is going to be here let me do that a little bit um this is going to be especially important for people that went through kind of a 12-step program or any type of recovery or maybe you just weren't a very nice person which happens <laughs> um <clears throat> maybe you owe somebody an apology uh and it's kind of coming back to haunt you but it's being internalized because you don't recognize that it's somebody um, that needs your help to heal. This is very fascinating what I'm seeing here for you guys. Okay, so you do have the aid of fire. So this is an indication that once you kind of discover what is going on with the five of cups, things could change very, very rapidly here for you with the aid of fire. Okay, so the eight of fire is the super fast moving energy, but it seems like you're going to be dragged down a little bit. <clears throat> so have you forgotten about somebody or have you not spoken to somebody for a long time? And maybe there's a little bit of a, a bridge between you guys that needs to be gapped. It, I'm just seeing where it's like somebody is crying out for your attention, but there could be a little bit of um, like a pride thing or you forgot about them completely or there was some stupid argument. Something is getting in the way um, and it's going to manifest in you feeling some sort of an emotional like weighted down. You could even cry. Okay, so start asking your pain questions um like i do this meditation um or affirmations and one of the affirmations that i accept the lesson that my pain is offering me so if you're feeling like oh maybe it's just the winter blues or i have no idea what's going on or maybe i just need a mental health day which is cool too there's something deeper behind it, okay? And maybe you're sort of ignoring the whispers in your brain, like what about this person? Or you're just, you don't want to reach out to them. But I see where you need to provide solace to somebody else. Um, oh, 
especially Im important for parents that are in a rift situation with their children, okay? Um, that's going to be up to you guys to heal. You guys need to reach out first. Um, you know, whatever happened with your child, just go and fix it, okay? Go and fix it. Or just at least repair it. You know what I mean? Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> Like, you don't have to be on speaking terms with people, but there is something that was just sort of slapped over with a Band-Aid, and it needs more than that. It needs a permanent healing, okay? So that could all change very quickly. And you can see with the Ten of Fire, I actually pulled two cards here. This is probably something that has been going on for quite some time, and maybe you're just not even aware of it. There could be some sort of a physical ail ailment coming out too, not just tears, but maybe like achy soreness in your joints as well, or your muscles, or you just feel like a lack of energy. It's somebody else's wounded energy speaking to you. It's like somebody's sending their message of pain to their higher self and your higher self is talking to theirs. I know it's getting complicated and you're getting these messages, but you're not hearing them, but your body is okay. So here you can see with the 10 of fire, this has to come full circle. I find it very interesting. This is the only deck that I have where um, it's not some like old decrepit dude that is like carrying all these sticks on his back and he's exhausted and it shows the end of the journey. This actually shows a completion of a circle. So you do need to go back and see what you can do to heal that because this is not gonna go away. This little like tapping insistence of the seahorse here is like boop, boop, boop. Like I need your help, okay? Somebody somewhere needs your help. You probably thought of a name when I was talking about that. So who is it? You know, write it down and do something about it after, okay? And then the moon card came in behind. So your intuition is already telling you what is going on. You might even be having dreams about this. And for some reason, why are you choosing to ignore it? Okay, sometimes sometimes you do have to put somebody else's needs ahead of yours. Okay, and you could be completely done with this person, but the cycle isn't done. Okay, you could be emotionally, intellectually, physically wrapped, but there is something that isn't. I need a sip of water. Hold on, guys. So I was just looking at the moon card while I was taking a sip of water. <sighs> something is really important about the number 18, okay? Like this could be a part of somebody's phone number or their address. Maybe this happened 18 years ago. Maybe that person is 18 years of age. Did you guys just see that? I looked up and I just saw angel number 818. Okay, so there's something deeply intense about that. Like maybe you knew that person when you were both 18 years old or you knew them 18 years ago. There's something... You're going to have to figure that out. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> please look up angel number 18 and then 818. Okay, okay. You just have to go to a web browser and type in angel number, blah, blah, whatever, and it'll come up for you. So somebody maybe had a sports jersey with the number 18. There's something very important in this connection with the number 18 that binds you guys together, okay? Very, very interesting. I'll pull one more card here for you guys very fascinating you guys got to let me know if that is resonating for you okay or uh, something is going to happen around the 18th possibly the number 18 is going to be very big here okay so this is what you guys need in order to move on okay i pulled the transformation card there's something for you guys to release you can see how her hand is like and now I can move on with the rest of my life where you can, you're moving from this sort of a formation of grief. Okay. I did what I had to do. 
Uh, I'm actually seeing for some of you, and I'm sorry if this is a little bit like maudlin, you might have to go um, offer you an apology at a graveyard or something like that, or light a candle for somebody, okay? So your transformation is kind of hinging on how you approach this and understand that these symptoms that you're having of sadness and body aches they're coming from somebody else that requires probably the word I'm getting here is your absolution and forgiveness. <clears throat> and remember, the boundary can still remain, okay? You don't have to take anybody back into your life, but somebody has like a heart wound that you need to help them heal. And whatever side of the veil they're on, you still need to reach out and help them, okay? Very fascinating. Very interesting reading. Let me know if that number 18 has meaning for you. Um, and guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to peace out. So have a great day ahead. Bye.